to the uh, Pandy Botanical Gardens. Meant to be really nice there. We recommended it by a few people, so let's see what it's all about. It's Arrived at Candy Botanical Gardens. It's uh, it's pretty cool in here so far. First impression is pretty good. Uh, it was uh, cost two thousand rupees per person. to go and get our washing, our laundry. How much is our laundry, Nat? 250 rupees per kilo. 250 rupees per kilo. What's the place called? What's the place called? No, that's fine. Master, master Washer? Mm, I don't think it's called Master Washer. Master Cleaner? But I am wearing my, my nice new shirt. Quite happy with this shirt. Oh, I've got a bit of a groin strain. I just found some food, lucky bastard. Oh, yeah, got a bit of a limp going on right now. <clears throat> Does not feel comfortable. Every day is a new challenge. <laughs> it's just never ending, never ending pain. <laughs> but uh, at least the weather's good. We've got the good views. The place is not Master Washer, it's Wash Master. Hello. Well, a little bit of trouble finding our clothes, possibly. That'd be funny. Lost all of our clothes. I was obviously smart and only bought clothes with me that I don't care about, but don't know about that. <laughs> ah, success. Yeah. How much? Uh... Yeah, thank you. Thank Beautiful. You. It smells lovely. Washing complete. Oh, it smells so nice. Doesn't it? Oh, you can't smell. <laughs> I didn't even do that on purpose. Another thing as well, got to pay to use the toilets. It's actually quite a common theme that we've noticed so far. Not something I like to do. I'll just go and piss in the bush instead. Just got back from the candy show. We weren't actually planning on going there. We were actually on our way to go and get some food, but we had uh, we kind of got collared into doing it. Uh, I have been recommended to do it by a by a friend anyway, and it was actually really good. It didn't disappoint at all. Um, it cost us about two thousand rupees each. Uh, it was about four pound fifty. Uh, it went on for about an hour. It was actually pretty spectacular. Like all the acrobatics and the fire eating, the dancing, the playing instruments. Like they were doing backflips and all sorts. So. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty good. I definitely would recommend doing it. If you're gonna get get the candy, go and watch that show. It's, it's good. We have just stopped for a drink. Uh, I thought I'd just take this opportunity to talk to you about an app that we have just been shown. That means you can get your transport prices at the same price as what the locals get it at. So we've actually been getting ripped off for the last week on tuk-tuks and all sorts. So. Uh, the app is called Pick Me. Pick Me yeah, Up? Pick Me. Pick Me. Pick Me app. It's like a little yellow logo. Also, it's like Uber for Tuk Tuk's basically. You get it like well cheap. It's a like half and price taxis. what they've been giving, giving us for. Taxis, food. Uh, taxis as well and food and all sorts of shit on there. So it's basically like Uber but you've got Tuk Tuk's on there too. Now they always try and call you but uh, we, we've been absolutely fine with it. It gives us like half, it's basically half price of what, what they were charging us before. So. That's a pretty good little tip we, we learnt there. Some uh, German girl on the bus told us about it, so yeah, sweet as. We just checked out of uh, the Nature Walk Resort. Uh, All together, the bill come to 14,500 rupees. Highly recommend this place, the Nature Walk Resort. 
in uh in candy very good we've obviously been here just over a week now and uh just did, did a little bit of maths and uh worked out that we have spent around 300 pounds between us in a week that is everything that is accommodation the sim cards food transportation that's the buses that's everywhere we've been that's just under 300 quid so that's 150 pound each in one week so not too bad is it so what is that that's 600 pound a month each to, to stay here for if you need to hibernate or hide away all right we're on the bus to noir Elia. it's probably the coolest bus we've been on like a little disco bus. Nightclub! So I don't know if you want to see how uh, chaotic the roads could be out here. But we're in a bus. It's, uh, it's pretty stunning up here. It reminds me of uh, Australia for some reason. I think it's the type of trees that are up here. Um, we are just at the Grand Hotel now. Not exactly budget friendly, but uh, wasn't my choice, obviously. I'm just having Thai food now, which I'm so hungry. I would eat anything. I don't really care right now. What, what are we doing after this? Going to we are going to um, Pedro tea plantation to see how tea's made and get to taste some yummy teas. There you go. Right, a little bit of a skip forward in time here. We well, didn't really uh, film much of Noir earlier. I didn't really feel very good, so didn't get any footage. We are now at Adams Peak. You're meant to start this walk at half two in the morning and then go, go be up there sort of for sunrise. It takes like four hours, it's like a mountain. It takes like three, three and a half, four hours to climb. And it's the school holidays at the moment. So it is busy here. There is a lot of people all wanting to walk up this mountain. It's like a spiritual like, pilgrimage for them. So they're all doing that. So we've, we're, instead of us getting up at half two to go and do this walk, we're just gonna do it now because we, we got, got speaking to a Russian couple. I don't know what time now is. Uh, oh, now is, uh, now is 9 p.m. Well, we got, got talking to a Russian couple who said they did this walk last night, got up at one in the morning to do it. And it got to nine in the morning and they still were not at the top because there were so many people that you just can't get there. So I was like, fuck this, let's go now. I can't be asked to, um... hello. Hello. All right. So, uh, yeah, so we're doing the, we're first doing the walk now. Sri Lanka? What's that? First time to Sri Lanka? Yeah, first time in Sri Lanka. First time in Sri Lanka. Hello, mate. <laughs> you guys gonna walk up the mountain as well, are ya? Yeah. Walk, walking up, yeah, all the way? All the way to the top? Yes. Yeah? Have you done it before? Cool. You've done it before? Yeah. Is it easy? It's easy. It's easy, yeah? Easy. Oh, result. Easy. easy. <laughs> Kerala. Huh? India. India? What, you're from India? No. Oh, yes. Kerala. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we're doing the walk now at 9 p.m. to beat the crowds. 
but uh, I don't think we're even going to beat them to be honest. The, the crowd is just permanent here. You can't beat them, join them. We are. It's like a. It feels like a fairground where we're walking through right now. There's all sorts of shit going on. Uh, so we're just looking for the, the how to where to start get going up. You couldn't even get to the top. There was uh, a lot of people waiting to get to the temple at the top, and uh, yeah, we stopped where it all just got so jammed up. That everyone's just waiting in a massive queue. We uh, decided to turn back. We got our tickets to Ella.